Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking Beautifully. Oh, sorry, I'll do it again. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking Beautifully. What are you cooking today? Today I'm going to teach you how to cook. How to? I'm sorry, we're not going to cook. Ooh, again, again. Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking Beautifully. What are you cooking today? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple Korean banchan. This banchan will go really well with uh, gochujang meatball or kimchi sausage kimchi dumpling, a lot of dishes that we make on our channel. It's really simple. Now we are going to put our Korean radish on our spiralizer and create some radish noodles. Now the noodles are done. We want to put it in a bowl, add some salt and sugar. And then let it rest for 30 minutes. It has been 30 minutes. Now we are going to squeeze our Korean radish, get all the juice out. And remember to set some juice aside. Wow, it's a lot of juice. Now I'm going to wear some gloves to protect my hands and add some ingredients to my radish noodle. Grated ginger, grated garlic, scallion, fish sauce, and kochukaru. Kochukaru is the ingredient that makes kimchi really red. You want to make sure you have the gloves, otherwise you're going to have red hands after you toss the ingredients with your radish. Wow, look at our Korean radish banchan. The color is beautiful. Now you can either enjoy this right away with our gochujang meatball, kimchi sausage, or you can put it in the jar and then put it in the fridge for a couple of days that it fermented and then you know you will develop more flavors uh, you can also bring this to work as your side dish but you need to be careful because you know somebody may steal your banchan <laughs> because it's so good <laughs> so now you can put this in a jar and then close your jar and that's it if you love kimchi, this is a must-try recipe. It's so easy to replicate at home and so delicious. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for choosing Cooking Beautifully, where memories are made. <laughs>